Hi and once again welcome to Vinny's Edu World. Today we are going to do the fourth part of playing with numbers. Chapter 3, Grade 6. We are going to discuss about common factors, common multiples, four new divisibility rules though not with numbers. This is a different pattern and prime factorization. The most important topic prime factorization. All these topics are interrelated. So as we have already learned how to find factors and multiples, this is going to be a cakewalk. Right? So let's start it. So let us start with common factors and multiples. We know what are factors. We know what are multiples. We know the meaning of common. So it is self-explanatory, isn't it? If I have two numbers, uh, like 24 and 32 okay I have two numbers and somebody asked me to find out find the common factors so what are the common factors first let me take the number 24 in which all table does 24 comes one table two is a factor three is a factor four is a factor 6 is a factor, 8 is a factor, 12 is a factor, yeah, after that what, 24 is the factor itself, okay, so let us go ahead and check 32, 32 comes in what all table, 1, 2, in 3 table does it come, no, 4 table it comes, 5, no, 6, no, 7, no, 8, yes, 9, no, right, 10, 11, 12, like that it will, the list will go on, right? So, from here if I have to just take the common factors, for example, 1 is it, 2 is common and 8 is also common. So, what will be the answer? 1, 2, 8. Very easy, isn't it? We know factors, so it's easy to solve common factors. The same way multiples. Suppose for 2 and 3, they ask me to find common multiples. What will I do? What are the multiples of 2? 2 is there, 4 is there, 6 is there, 8, 10, 12. I'll stop there. Okay, like that 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And it will go on. Isn't it? So, I have to find the common multiple. What are the common multiple? What are they? 6 is there. Okay. 12 is there. See? I can write 6, 12. Common multiple and common factor is very easy. Now, what are co-prime numbers? I had told about this earlier also. Co-prime numbers. What are those? Any two numbers, let us take 4 and 5. Any two numbers who have only one common factor. And what is that? 1. Because 4 and 5 have only one common factor and that is 1. These two numbers are called as co-prime numbers. Clear? Very easy. We have seen many rules related to numbers, divisibility rules, right? So, this divisibility rule is a pattern. Like what? If a number is divisible by another number, then it is divisible by each of the factor of that number. When you read it, you will feel confusing. But we need to understand the concept very well because this can be a one mark MCQ question. You know how? Okay. Let us first give me, let me first give you an example. Like for example, 24. 24 is divisible by 12, I am saying. 24 is divisible by 12. So, will 24 be divisible by 3? How do we know that? It is yes. You try to divide it, you will get the answer as yes. So, the thing is, the factors of 12. What are the factors of 12? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. 
isn't it these are all factors of 12 so 24 must be divisible by all these factors right so if i say 12 is divisible by 3 so it must be divisible by 9 is it possible think about it before you answer 12 is divisible by 3 so it must be divisible by 9 no right because 9 is not a factor of 3 but if i had put it across in a different way 12 is divisible by 9 so it is divisible by 3 is it correct yes why because 3 is a factor of 9 isn't it got it great these kind of small small things don't miss out because this can be a part of your mcqs you need to understand this very well right so there is another rule let's go to the second rule this rule is also very interesting if a number is divisible by two co-prime numbers then it is divisible by their product also suppose you get a number mm, let us take 12 okay let us take 12 now 12 is divisible by 3 and 4 two co-prime numbers they said 12 is divisible by 3 and 4 right so 3 and 4 are co-prime numbers because they have only one factor and which is 1 so if 12 is divisible by 3 and 4 what will happen 12 will also be divisible by 3 into 4 yes 12 is divisible by what 12 one answer isn't it let us take another one if 12 is divisible by 2 and 3 they are also co-prime because there is also one common factor 1 so 12 will also be divisible by the product of 2 and 3 which is 6 right so this is the second rule if a number is divisible by two co-prime numbers it will also be divisible by the product of these co-prime numbers it, this will help you to find out the factors very easily rule number three and four go together so let's understand them together okay so the first one says if two given numbers are divisible by a number then their sum is also divisible by that number so if we have two numbers 6 and 4 and I am saying they are divisible by 2. So what is the rule telling? That their sum is also divisible by 2. So what is the sum 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 is divisible by 2. Right? And what is my fourth rule telling me? If these two are divisible by 2 their difference should also be divisible by 2. What is the difference of 6 minus 4? 2. See, 2 is also divisible by 2. Very easy. There are only 4 rules. What is the first rule? If you divide one number by another number, this main number will be divisible by all the factors of 8. Right? That was our first rule. What was the second rule? If you divide a number by two co-prime numbers, the number will also be divisible by the product of the co-prime numbers. Isn't it? Okay. Third one was what? If you divide two numbers by one number, the sum of two numbers or the difference of these two numbers will also be divisible by that number. Right? This why, why I said this again and again is you will get a lot of questions based on these rules for fill in the blanks, for MCQ or for true or false. So you should know how to do them. Right? Okay. So now the next topic is prime factorization. 
Prime factorization. It's very very important to understand this particular topic nicely because the next exercise will be based on LCM, HCF. So to do all that you should know what is prime factorization. One more thing kids I wanted to tell you all. <clears throat> Nowadays we have lot of online resources everything available but when you are doing maths questions please don't look and do them. Okay, you try to understand the concept and try to do it yourself. If you have any doubt, post it on any of the channels that you watch. You will definitely get a reply. Even if you post it here, I will send you a reply. But please don't look at the solutions and do the questions. Because now whatever I am explaining, I am explaining with respect to your NCRT textbook. So for each exercise, if you follow these instructions, you will be able to do them nicely. But if there are any doubts, you can post it out. There is no problem. Okay. But never see a solution and try to copy that. That way your concepts will never be clear. Okay. If you like what I am saying, please do put a like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Okay. No. Our prime factorization. Now we have a number 24. How can I write it? Can I say 24 is nothing but 8 into 3? Yeah. So I say 24 is nothing 8 into 3. So that is a factorization. Okay. Can I say 24 is nothing but 4 into 6? Yeah. 24 is 4 into 6. Okay. 24 is also 12 into 2, right? Isn't it? So, 24 can be written in all these different forms. But is there a common form how you can write 24? Let us see that. One form I said is 8 into 3. Another form was 4 into 6. And another one was 12 into 2. Okay, so now if you look at this 8, I can write 8 as 4 into 2. But I can again write this 4 as 2 into 2. So finally, what is it? 2 into 2 into this 2 into 3. This is the factorization for 8 into 3. And how about 4 into 3? 4 can be written as 2 into 2 and this can be written as 3 into 3, 2. So what is it? 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay. How about this? 12 can be written as 6 into 2. 6 can be written as 3 into 2. Finally, what am I getting? 3 into 2 into 2 into 2 isn't it this two this and this so now if you observe this carefully this and this and this the end product is same when it is same that thing is called as prime factorization understand it's very very simple so this i just explained you you can do prime factorization in two different forms. One is a factor tree, which all kids enjoy doing. Let me do. I also like doing prime factorization. 90. Can you tell me the factor? First factor of 90, which comes to your mind? 9 into 10. Very good. So, we will write 9 into 10. But do you think 9 can be further factorized? 9 has more factors, right? What are those? 3 into 3. Brilliant. And 10? 2 into 5. So what is prime factorization of 90? 3 into 3 into 2 into 5. Isn't it easy? This is very easy method. One more method is there which is the ladder method. I will do 48 by the ladder method. Okay. So, we should always try to do it with the smallest number. 
48 is an even number, right? 8 is an even number. I can easily try it with 2. How will I do? 2, 2 is a 4, right? Okay, 2, 4 is a 8. So, what does this mean? 2 into 24 is 48. I can try with 2 again. 2, 1 is a 2. 2, 2 is a 4. So, 2 into 12 is 24, right? Again 2, I got 6. Again 2, I got 3. But 3 will not go into stable. So, I will have to take a 3. 1s are 3. Now, what are my factors? 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Right? These are my factors. So, this is the prime factorization of 48. Correct? Understand? Hope today's class was interesting and the concepts are clear. Please do like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Bye for now.